Natalie's always kidding me about Tom Hanks being yes, my best friend or best friend. He, when you walk on red carpets, he's like, David Moss! Well, you know, we all know this. That's how, that's how people seem to think that we're, we're best friends. Well, we're, we're acquaintances. We sort of know I each other. I just tease. And you know how it goes way back to the beginning of his career. He was here in Cleveland working at the Great Lakes Shakespeare Festival, and they'd work at night. And I used to be on a show called The Morning Exchange, and that was in the morning. So in the morning, he'd turn on the TV, and I'd be there maybe talking about movies or something, which is something he really liked. Because Clearly. when he came to Cleveland, he wouldn't, had nothing to do with the movies. In fact, when he came to Cleveland, he was a set decorator. He wasn't even an actor. So, really? So he learned how to, you know, do, right from the bottom up, set decorating and then acting. And then he did that one show that was like hours and hours long. And so we got to know each other like that. So every time he'd see me, he'd go, Moss Man, Moss Man. So it ended up looking like that. Like we took a picture one time, he made me sit on his lap, make a joke I about it. I love that. You know, like I'm Jerry Mahoney or something like that, ventriloquist style or something. <laughs> but I love the guy. He's great. I saw him in Rome walking down the street. Moss Man, the same kind of thing. But yeah, so we sort of know each other. It's fun. I love the guy, and I love all his work. Two Oscars. He's got one for Philadelphia, one for Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. That was back-to-back. -back. I think Spencer Tracy was the only other guy to ever do back-to-back -back Oscars. So it's a great story. So he's in a great story right now. I want you to check it out. Tom Hanks turns back the clock to a time before news anchors and newscasts. Tom hits the prairies with a wad of newspapers to deliver news of the world. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Jefferson Kyle Kidd, and I'm here tonight to read the news from across this great world of ours. So they pay you to tell stories. I ain't never heard of that as a thing a man can do. Tom Hanks, a Civil War veteran, finds satisfaction in reciting the news town to town. News of the world is the story of discovery and survival. He put on a show, without a doubt, and his show always brings people together. And a show always, uh, you know, enthralls people. But because he was also making a great show about the news, about the facts, about uh, about journalism, he was also uh, enlightening a crowd. Whether or not they thought the news was good or bad, what was good was what was what was positive about the experience was that they were informed. She's got family down in Castroville. Captain, why are you doing this? She needs to laugh and dream. She needs new memories. Helena Zengel is at the heart of the story, an escaped captive of Indians, lost and helpless. She is fantastic as Hank's co-star. I'm 64, and I've been doing this for a while, and I still like to learn things from the people I've worked with, but I'm looking at this 11, 12-year-old, you know, bilingual uh, 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 co-star of mine, and I was thinking, gosh, I, I wish I could be as unaffected as she is. I wish I could be as natural and, uh, and as simple as, as she is, because she was, and we just were. Ladies and gentlemen, these are stories of men and women very much like you, waiting for better days to come. There's a great, great way to begin a conversation with anybody uh, under any circumstances, and that was, I saw the most amazing thing or I heard the most incredible fact. And that when you share that, it ends up, it ends up you, you, you can be suddenly bound to a stranger or be even uh, brought even more close, uh, close to a loved one. Everybody wants to, be, to belong to something bigger than themselves. And even if that organization is only the audience in a barn or in a theater or, or in a bar uh, in, order to, in order to hear somebody report uh, to tell of the world that beyond their own city limits, um, that, that's empowering. That means you go out into the night afterwards thinking, I'm really glad I came by and I spent my dime and heard the news of the world. Let me start this sentence by saying I saw the most amazing thing, and it's pretty good, and it stars Tom Hanks. It's called News of the World, and you can see it in theaters right now, and you can see it on video platforms. That means, you know, on TV, at home, in your own house, starting on the 15th of this month. So there you go.